Good morning, everyone. This is a great occasion. It is a party today. Let's cut our cake, and we look forward to enjoying this over in the newly opened building in a short time. I think a round of applause, don't you? <laughs> this is not a high street cafe. This isn't a recording studio. This isn't the kitchen of some swanky restaurant. This ain't no flash office block. This isn't my sitting room. Quiet, kids! This isn't Canary Wharf. What it is, is Christchurch House. A couple of years ago, the congregation here at Christ Church Cot Fosters decided that our church house needed a major upgrade. So we set about raising some money over the last couple of years, and we now have spent about one and a half million pounds on our new building. After a lot of work over the past year by a very dedicated team of people, Christ Church House is finally finished. It's the opening weekend, we have some formal activities going on, as well as some fun stuff too. So, let's go and have a look inside. Grace, Elsa, what are you doing? I'm making a bracelet and a crown at the same time. At the same time, you're multitasking. Girls are very clever. Elsa, what are you making? A crown. A crown? So, do you like this room? Is this a good room, do you think? I like the whole thing. Garth's got two cakes. <laughs> so, you have, you have two cakes? Yes, one for me. Yes. One for Olive. One for Luck. No. We don't believe in Luck. No. Fair point. Now listen, yes. one word. Yes. What's your reaction to the building? I think it's fantastic. Got to go. Ashley, Ashley, stop there. Stop there. Blue Man from the movie Up. Whoa. Absolutely. I'm like the, that makes me the fat, annoying kid. Or the dog. Don't go there. So, Ashley, it's the big opening weekend. It's the big day today. It is. Can you tell us your reaction to the building, to what's going on today, how things have gone for you? I just think the, the building looks superb, you know, really bright, really light, um, lots of good space, it feels, um, feels quite homely. I am so excited by what the church has done. Uh, I, you know, I feel, in the right sense, I feel quite proud of what Christchurch has done. As I said, it's something everyone's done together. Uh, it's a real community project. And to see the way people have got the vision for this, have gone for it, have done it, and to sit full today of lots of people, just the community around us, that's what this building's for. Um, we just want the glory for this to go to God, who's ultimately behind it all. It's easier to meet Christians in a place like this than it perhaps is going straight into worship. So I'm very excited by this development because it matches um, a movement that I can see throughout London of recovering the real sense that uh, a Christ-centred community has to be outward-facing. Julia, manageress yes. of the cafe. Yes. Um, so it's the big opening weekend. You've had a few days of running the cafe. Uh, how do you feel it's gone? Highlights? What's really special for you? Um, it's gone fantastically well the first couple of days. Um, taken far more money than we expected to, so we should break even within about five or six years, I would think. Fantastic. <laughs> um, you're, on your fourth, you're on your fourth brownie of the afternoon. Oh, my second one, that's yeah. scandalous. Yeah. You're, on your, you're on your fourth brownie of the second, afternoon. Second, second. Yeah, brownie. it's the fourth. What's it like working at the smartest cafe, I'm going to say in North London? I'm going to go this way first. It's absolutely wonderful. Hard work. Hard work. It is hard work. But worth it. Worth it. Worth every minute. Yeah. And apparently, Becky, you're the you're the absolute genius on the coffee machine. Well, so they say. So you're they building say. up quite a reputation. <laughs> no, it's great. We love it. Absolutely love it. And we've got a really good team of helpers. So it's really good fun. Fantastic. And what's your sort of impressions of the building as a whole, not just the cafe? Absolutely thing? brilliant. I mean, we've only been at the church about two and a half years, and you know we've had a little experience of the old halls, but this has just totally transformed it. 
and hopefully we'll encourage more people in and encourage more people into the church. What's your first impressions of the brand? Uh, this amazing new space. We'll come back to the brand, your fourth brand. Have you tasted yes. the coffee yet? I'm going to be here most mornings. Today. They're going to have to have a tab for you. Mike, opening day. Did you think we'd ever get here? I began to wonder at the time, but uh, it's come. It's been a long course. The gestation period was about seven years before we even started. But uh, I'm encouraged and particularly good to see uh, people from the locality in here, the people that don't often come in, into any, any of our church buildings. So that was very encouraging, and particularly the concert was yes. great. It just broke the ice. When you hear the whistle blowing into the bar, then you know the Tennessee's not very far. Shove along the golden car to keep it rolling. Boo hoo want so Now, Mongo, we're out here at the front. There's some photos uh, going back many, many years because it's quite an old building. Yeah. Um, tell us, a, point out a couple of things where you recognise either people or events that happened in this hall over the years. Okay, so um, over here we've got, uh, goodness me, my wife uh, in uh, very early days, Pathfinders uh, Parish Festival, and uh, I recognise her brother here. Wow. Uh, Dusty and uh, his wife now, uh, Margaret. Uh, so quite a few people there. Fantastic. Uh, the guides, uh, obviously the um, the guides and the scouts use the uh, stage for uh, all the gang shows for right. uh, many years. So we spent Fantastic. a lot of time uh, in here having uh, having fun. So some some great memories. Uh, okay. Now we were looking at these photos, Douglas, and there's a guy here, a very handsome chap uh, from 1971. Any idea who he is? I was amazed to see it because I wasn't a member of Cockfosters until 1973. There you are. But, you, but you Marguerite, still made the car. Marguerite was uh, teaching at Trent at the uh, time uh -huh. and I started coming to Cockfosters. So she must have dragged me along. started out there were drawings and plans and a vague idea of what we were going to do. Um, how's it turned out relative to, to what you expected and what you hoped for? Well drawings are a completely different thing aren't they and I mean upstairs particularly the upper room which I think we'll be using quite a lot for the youth it's it's amazing. I couldn't have envisaged the space looking like that it looks so much bigger so much brighter it's fantastic it's going to be amazing and they're having a lot of fun up there right now. Okay, I'm here with the youth, that's what they're called here, um, and I'm going to get some commentary from them and some views on the new building, and I'm going to start this way. First impressions of the new building and the new space? Modern and clean. Modern and clean. And it's, the space is amazing. Good. And what are you looking forward to doing here over the next few years? Next few years, leading the Pathfinders up here. Better Fantastic. Than, better than being in the Scout Hut. Yes. Miles more better. space, more technical. Got the screen over there. Fantastic. Be awesome. Fantastic. Right, let's go and ask Jamie what he thinks. Oh. Jamie, <laughs> you didn't know when you sat down I was going to pounce on you. Uh, a couple of words on the new building. What are you excited about? What's your favourite um, room? My favourite room would have to be this room, the upper room, or the loft. The loft. The loft. The that loft. sounds cool. Quite edgy. Yeah, it's cool. We've got sofas. We've got some games, consoles, and stuff booked up. So it's uh, good. Good it's place for the youth to be in. Good general. place for the youth. It's a really, uh, really cool room. Great. So, yeah. Great, fantastic. Okay, and then lastly over here, you guys, a couple of quick words. What do you think? 
Yeah, looks good. <laughs> looks good. Yeah. That seems to be the general consensus. And what's your favourite part? Uh, this room, definitely. Yeah? Yeah, I like that there's so much light here. And also downstairs, everything's just so much brighter. Fabulous. I like, I like the cafe. It's food there. The cafe. <laughs> food. Yeah. yeah. It's strategic. Like food, yeah. It is very, very, it's a very cool cafe. Good food as well. I think seeing everyone just putting together, making things happen has been exciting. It's been a massive project and obviously in many ways everyone's contributed but just to see the, the many, the dozens of people that have just got on board doing all the things that they needed doing, organising the building, all the design groups that have been meeting. Uh, and I think when you're involved in it so closely as all of these people have been, you forget the overall impact so it's just great at the end today to see what's actually happened and how amazing the building looks. But it's actually only the people that have really brought, brought it to life and that's really great to see. They brought the colour to the building. Um, it's quite neutral in, in general, but you know the people actually brought the life and, and brought the vibrancy into the building. You're right. It's about people, not about rooms. But if you had to pick a favourite one, what's your favourite room in the new building? The cafe. Uh, it has to be the prayer room, I'm afraid, because um, that's where the heart of it goes. So I'll be honest with you. It's the prayer room. Do I have to? You have to. Just one word. One word that's good about the building. Um, it's a good space for kids. The lift's cool, but it's dangerous. What's your favourite part of the building? Lift. And the lift is good because, yeah. The lift is the I best part. Though, it's all good. It's all good. From what I can see, it's been done very tastefully, and they've blended the old and the new very well. Absolutely fantastic, but that's more than one word. It is, but you're um, a lawyer and you're charged by the word. Exactly. Right. Three, two, one, I go. I don't want to. You do. It's the first time in my life, really, where I've ever felt I'm part of a church building that I don't have to apologise for. I'm really excited about it. I think it's a great place we've got here. Yeah, I've been here since 1966. You know, lived with it how it was, and to see it like this is absolutely fantastic. Really brilliant. Incredible. What's your favourite room? The big building. The big building. And how are the chicken pox? Oh, good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The upper room as well. That's a fantastic space. I think the people from Cameo, the elderly group, they've been saying what a space that would be for them as well. So I think that's a great place for all ages. Brilliant. I just love my office at the front. Wow. Oh, fabulous. Light and airy. Fab. You know, it's not just about uh, old men dreaming dreams, but you've also had young men seeing visions. So I could have never envisioned uh, something like this, but it's really magnificent. Actually, the final result, I think, is better than any of us could imagine. Well, if the Lord uses this building, that's all I'm. That's all I want. Peace be to this Christchurch house, and all who enter here in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In your all-powerful name, we now dedicate this building. Fill it with your love, with prayer, with the sharing of your word, and with encouragement for all. May those who seek you find you here. May those who follow you be equipped in your service. May young and old dream dreams and see visions so that each may know you from the least to the greatest. Amen. Amen. So, here we are at the end of a fantastic afternoon. You've had tons of people here. The guys on the grill have cooked 200 kebabs, we've served about 50 hot dogs and tons of desserts. It's been a really, really lovely day and a great way to end our opening weekend for Christchurch House. Of course, this isn't really an ending, it's just a beginning. The building work's done, but it's really about the amazing things that we can do for God's kingdom in our new building over the next 80 years, just like we did with the old one. Thanks for watching. Well, this is going to be edited, isn't it?